Hi, welcome to Prehistoric to Gothic Art. This is part two of your lecture series to help you understand the content in your chapter readings, as well as help you write your essays. These two PowerPoints are created to give you an understanding of basic art vocabulary, including the elements of design, so that you can understand how a work of art is created. They are also guides to think about when you are planning a work of art or when you are analyzing or discussing the work. When we look at a work of art, we are able to glimpse at the experiences of others, even those whose lives were preceded ours. We can understand societies other than our own and see beyond our own cultural boundaries. Art history makes history visible and accessible. It's a record of how the people of our past lived, felt, and acted in different parts of the world at different periods of time. Paulo Picasso wrote on the subject of art history. He said, to me, there is no past or future in art. If a work of art cannot live always in the present, it must not be considered at all. The art of the Greeks, the Egyptians, the great painters who lived in other times is not an art of the past. Perhaps it's more alive today than it ever was. Art does not evolve by itself. The ideas of people evolve and with them their mode of expression. Works of art from the past are with us in the present. One-to-one -one communication still occurs, even when the artist and the viewer are separated by thousands of years. This slide lists the elements and principles of design. These are the building blocks of design. The elements are what artists use when creating a work of art, such as line, shape, mass, space, time and motion, light, texture, and color. The principles of design are how the artist use these elements. For example, if you were a chef and you were making pancakes, the elements would be the flour, eggs, and milk, and the principles would be the recipe, how you use these ingredients. The Lascaux Cave in France is the best known Paleolithic cave. It's extensively decorated, but most of the paintings are hundreds of feet from any entrance, far removed from daylight. Everything we see, including color, is made visible by the radiant energy we call light. The largest painted area at Lasco is the Hall of Bulls. There were two basic approaches to painting in the Lasco Caves, colored silhouette and pure outline. During the Paleolithic period, all human societies were nomadic, so all of the animals were painted at different times, causing a layering effect. The animals were painted by different groups of people moving through the area. The Hall of Bulls also consists of several different kinds of animals of various sizes moving in different directions. The purpose of the drawings are unknown, but some believe that it was used as a teaching tool or target for spear practice or narratives, or it could have been used for storytelling. They used red and yellow ochre for drawing and painting, as well as charcoal and earthen pigments. They created brushes made from reeds, bristles, and twigs. Line is our basic means for recording ideas, observations, and feelings. It's a primary mean to visual communication. Line is an extension of a point made by a moving point. It can be used to create shapes, textures, patterns, and forms. Lines can also express moods and feelings. Lines can be active, aggressive, passive, or mechanical. They can indicate directions, define boundaries of shapes and spaces, and imply volumes of solid masses. Shape is the expanse within the outline of a two-dimensional area or within the outer boundaries of a 3D object. Geometric shapes, such as circles, triangles, and squares, are precise and regular. Organic shapes are irregular, often curving or rounded and seem relaxed and more informal than geometric shapes. Animal facing left is an example of an organic shape. Space is the feeling created by the way shapes or objects are placed. Positive space is space taken up by the object. 
an animal facing left, the animal is the positive space. Negative space is the empty space all around the object. Animal facing left is a charcoal on stone drawing. Animals were always depicted in strict profile during this Paleolithic period or Old Stone Age because it is completely informative about the animal's shape. The head, body, tail, and legs are clearly visible. The species depicted is unknown. Scientists explored this cave in 1969 and 1972 and found seven fragments of stone with paint on them. Five different animals were depicted. During this period, humankind went beyond recognition of human and animal forms in nature to representation. The works produced range from simple shell necklaces to human and animal forms in ivory, clay and stone to monumental paintings. Texture is the way something feels or looks like it would feel, such as smooth, prickly, or rough. Petroglyphs are etchings found above ground, made by scratching or pecking the surface of a stone. Not all Paleolithic art is found in caves, but also above ground, etched in stone in many locations around the world. They have a visible textural surface. This petroglyph is found off the northwest coast of Australia. There are thousands of carvings found in this location that depict humans, animals, and mythic beings. Remember, two-dimensional area is called a shape. Mass is a three-dimensional area. Mass encloses space. It has a height, width, and a depth. Space is called volume. In two-dimensional media, such as a painting, mass must be implied. Human with feline head from Germany is an example of actual mass or form. This work is one of the oldest known sculptures, and it is uncertain whether the work depicts a composite creature or a human wearing an animal mask. A composite creature is a figure that has a human body and an animal head or vice versa. Composite creatures are common in the art of ancient Near East and in Egypt. This creature was found in fragments in a cave in Germany. It is carved out of mammoth ivory and is about a foot tall, which is a huge image for its era. The purpose and function is unknown, but we know it was an important figure because creating an ivory statue, especially one of this size, is a very complicated process. 